All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 32. All right. So the strong element is used to indicate that some text is of strong importance or urgent. So in the fig caption we just added, we're going to indicate that hate is of strong importance. Hate is of strong importance. What is what a phrase, guys? Yeah. Anyway, listen, it's free. Uh, I've never taken any real cons computer science courses in college or anything like that, but I'm sure this kind of garbage is everywhere within this uh, industry. So just like I said, get used to it. Uh, so it's of strong importance by wrapping it in a strong element. Ha ha ha. You guys are hilarious. Anyway, let's go check out what strong element looks like. Strong HTML over here. Uh, the strong tag, it's basically saying exactly what that said. Uh, but let's try it for ourselves. As you can see, when we wrap something in strong like this, it's going to have, uh, it's going to pretty much give it a bold uh, look to it. And the strong tag is used to define text with strong importance. The content inside is typically displayed in bold. And then here's a tip. We can use the B tag to specify bold text without any extra importance. Honestly, I don't know what that means, but whatever. Uh, so we're going to come down here and in front of this hate, ha ha ha, hate, we're going to put strong and then we're going to be after the hate, we'll put, put uh, strong again. Honestly, remember they could have put any, anything else. They could have put anything else, anything else, but they literally did choose this. So just remember, you're not dealing with any, that that's why there's so much homelessness in the San Francisco Bay area because these people are far from saints. Let's put it like that. Uh, let's uh, check the code. Looks good. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Don't forget the slash in front of strong. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 33 and we'll see you next time.